Hi, I'm Ross Carter from Shalotal Enterprises, and you're watching Pepper's Web TV right here, right now. What do you now. think about the internet? The internet, I think, is an absolutely amazing resource. I think I don't think our technology has ever been at the point where it is now. And the thing that always amazes me about the internet, as I was mentioning earlier, is that right now any person on this planet can have literally access to every piece of knowledge ever known to man. Yeah. But d d doesn't it also think, make you think that you have a voice to the world now? For example, what we're going to do right here, we're going to say our piece and then we're going to broadcast it. So, mm -hmm. you know, as li uh, little guys now, we can compete with, the, you know, the, the big guys, you know, the, the uh, foxes. I think, that just, the, I think that just makes the playing ground a little more level. Yeah. Um, to, to use an example, uh, it used to be in this country, even up to 10 years ago, if you weren't with a record company, you weren't going to get played, you weren't going to get heard. But now there's a whole industry that seems to evol revolve around the independent artists. Okay. I, I don't agree with the statement, but maybe some people would say, okay, the fact that now, okay, you've got this, this new media, every, everybody gets exposure, and then really nobody actually actually shares and shares in it. Like, mm -hmm. for example, like, you know, there's just a glut of people on the, uh, the web now. What's to make you stand out? Because now, because everybody's got that power, it's not that as unique. Yeah, and that's what makes the playing ground more level. Okay, I, I, I think the internet, I think it's a great thing. Um, what do you think about government intervention? I, and I've seen it. Uh, we, I, uh, I got an email the other day. It was from the CRTC-related type of thing, and they were saying, okay, we're going to crack down on this, this web nonsense. Mm -hmm. And I noticed Americans are doing it too. Do you think it'll be shut off and this whole, this whole venue, this whole outline the, like the common man has will be cut off and it'll only be CBS will buy into it and that's it, and that's, that's the only mm. person that gets played? I think it's a real bad idea for the governments to intervene in it. I can understand that there are some things going on on the internet that shouldn't be, some really important things, uh, like kitty porn and stuff, which maybe those kind of things the government might want to look at. But something like this, I think, is basically it's serving a function for the people who want to have access to what it's doing, and I think they should just leave it alone. Let I agree. I agree. I will. agree with you, but there is always a possibility. For it be something so easy for somebody to cut the cord, you know, because mm -hmm. there's there's always some big power that has uh, control of the technology because there was a lot of money put into making this technology available to people like me and you. Mm, yeah, that's you know? right. And and when you remember too that the origins of the internet go back to the uh, the Secret Service in the in the U.S. Um, if that's where it starts, uh, ultimately that's where it can end up. Yeah. Uh, speaking about computers and how how far they've come, uh, I was reading an article in one of the We Compute magazines. They were talking about the, the, this term bugs, that we all know of computer bugs. Uh, how it came about is in this computer with the, the transistors and that apparently an actual inset got lodged in the circuitry and that's how that came about. <laughs> yeah. uh, I, uh, one thing I think is very uh, interesting about the internet is it's, it's kind of created a new culture, like even new terms. You know, who would have thought? Oh, yeah. Well, it just shows you how our technology has changed. Look, uh, in 1980, there was the bank machine. You know, and that was that was a big deal. Yeah. Now, now look at this technology we have here. It's yeah. wild. Now we can get everything except the cash to come out yeah. of the computer. And what I think is really good about Pepper's Web Television is the fact that you can tune in at any time. It's not like the television, like you got to go watch Friends at uh, six. Mm. You know, and you can't catch the next episode. You can tune at any time to catch our show.